Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI personally requested forgiveness from abuse survivors on February 8th. This was in a letter responding to a report that faulted his handling of cases during his tenure as Munich Archbishop from 1977 to 1982. In late January 2022, a German law firm released a report on how abuse cases were handled in the Archdiocese of Munich and phrasing. The report, compiled at the request of the Archdiocese, incriminated retired Pope Benedict. They accused him of failing to take appropriate action in four cases during his tenure in Munich. The Munich investigation followed two years of research and covered the period from 1945 to 2019. In an almost thousand-word letter released on February the 8th, the 94-year-old retired Pope said that his pain was all the greater as he had borne great responsibility in the Catholic Church. The letter was accompanied by a three-page countering of the criticisms contained in the Munich Abuse Report and was signed by four advisers of Pope Emeritus. It insisted that he was not aware of sexual abuse committed or suspicion of sexual abuse committed by priests in any of the four cases mentioned in the report. Pope Emeritus also expressed gratitude for those who offered their support in the face of the accusation of the Munich report. He mentioned that he had received many messages of support and was particularly grateful for the confidence, support and prayer that Pope Francis personally expressed. In his letter, Benedict XVI noted, In all my meetings, especially during my many apostolic journeys with victims of sexual abuse by priests, I have seen at first hand the effects of a most grievous fault. I have come to understand that we ourselves are drawn into this grievous fault whenever we neglect it or fail to confront it with the necessary decisiveness and responsibility as too often happened and continues to happen. As in those meetings, once again, I can only express to all the victims of sexual abuse my profound shame, my deep sorrow and my heartfelt request for forgiveness. I have had great responsibilities in the Catholic Church. All the greater is my pain for the abuses and the errors that occurred in those different places during the time of my mandate. Each individual case of sexual abuse is appalling and irreparable. The victims of sexual abuse have my deepest sympathy and I feel great sorrow for each individual case. Concluding his letter, Benedict, who turns 95 on April 16th, looked ahead to his judgment before God. Quite soon, I shall find myself before the final judge of my life. Even though, as I look back on my long life, I can have great reason for fear and trembling, I am nonetheless of good cheer, for I trust firmly that the Lord is not only the just judge, but also the friend and brother who himself has already suffered for my shortcomings and is thus also my advocate, my paraclete, he wrote.